Let's smack somebody. I'm an Oleron, bitch! You get smacked! And you get smacked! Everybody gets smacked! Sit down, son! Come here! What you doing? What is up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. How you guys been doing? I'm having a wonderful day. I'm sure to have a wonderful day, just had a very good no meeting, came back from work, gonna hit the gym in a couple hours with my wife and overall feeling great, having a good mood. Um, very stoked about playing all around right now. Uh, because such an interesting mage and I didn't really had a lot of experience with him. Hopefully Daji is coming back in time. We are positioning ourselves a little bit further away. So we're gonna hit that on all three. And it should be enough. Daji clear is pretty good, so... That's too bad. Oh well, looks like he didn't... Uh, didn't... Clear it on time. I didn't not gonna get the level two. It's fine. It's fine. We still have a lot of pressure. We're an ADC Best magical ADC in my opinion. Let's smack her a little bit. Oh, she's poked out. Silly has not a whole lot of HP Let's aim at her. Yeah, good stuff So he like third of HP missing and I'm full so I'm definitely gonna back box here. Oh The ghost hits are real Let's focus on the clear a little bit. We're still gonna clear about the same time because I'm using my Otis for this. Looks like Daji is okay. Hopefully she's not gonna follow him. We got this silly here. They're going. I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna take her. She doesn't have a dash. What is she doing? Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, Mercury paid zero attention to this and I was like, what are you doing girl? Just like walking in front of me like that? I'm like smacking you the whole time. Let's just make sure that this experience, we're gonna get it and get the red buff. Oh, Mercury is still here. We successfully got the red buff and Daji is pushing Merc out. She's level two and way too deep. I'm gonna grab these so all of the contested experience from Scylla is taken. Let's pressure her immediately. She's just back from the lane. Looks like he still didn't get the dash. I'm gonna get some poke. Over half HP. Looks like she just popped the potion, so she's gonna heal up. Unfortunate. Let's poke her out a little bit. How did that miss? It was so on point, it's not even funny. We have a life steal. We have a couple mana pots. So we're gonna get this red buff and probably lose a bunch of gold in the middle lane, but still get all of the experience. I think I estimate we missed two minions. We missed one. That's even better. Don't really want to tank it. Looks like we're fine. The small amount of life steal I have is enough, plus the ticking pot. Oh girl, what are you doing? You're gonna get poked out again. Look at this. Oh, she's half HP again. I'm going for it like man, I'm going. Let's see, can I hit it? Good jukes, okay. It's fine, still a lot of pressure. Fuck, I was not planning to get hit by that. But I think she missed the back line, so... I'm pretty sure she she's missing those minions that just died. She was way too far. We now have an ult. Let's try and do stuff with it. If she pushes right up a little bit. Oh, she's so low. We have way too much gold. I would rather back really soon. But there's just so much stuff on the map and she's so low, I really want to get her. Let's see if we can pressure this red buff. Mm, not close enough. Even though I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have killed her anyway. 
We are staying here. Hopefully, Dashi is gonna be able to kill her. Nope. Oh, wow. That messes up all the clear of Scylla, but... Ooh, yeah, like I said, that wasn't enough damage. And I don't have enough power for crit, so it's fine. Dude, that but that loot was very unfortunate. Mm, go, looks like baby. nothing we can do here. The wave is here. Yeah, we should back off. I move and then really... What the hell is happening here? Oh, shoot. She got baited. God damn. It's your job not to die. That was not the play, Daji. Holy shit. I know, I know, it's cringy a little bit, but we actually go for full tier uh, Bancrofts. He's counting. But you're counting, man. Oh, all right, it's my fault. Good stuff. Man is level four, and somehow it's my fault that he dives the tower. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's not dwell on that too much. I mean, he's salty, obviously. He wanted to make a play and didn't work out. It happens to me as well, so not a big deal. Just gonna drop these, pick up the red buff. Uh, mute the man, just to make sure this conversation doesn't go into an ugly place. I am a Kukulkan. I don't even know what that should mean. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't wanna bother. Let's just clear the wave. We missed another minion, but we got a buff for it, so it's fine. I have. I think these are up. No, never mind. Okay, literally all. Judging my by the farm, cold. Mercury is doing a better job in the jungle, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We apply so much pressure on Scylla that it evens out. We're actually a little tiny bit ahead in gold, so it's fine. Oh, hello, Scylla. Let's pop an. All righty then. I was really hoping I would be able to pop an ult and use a 3. That wasn't the case. Nothing in the jungle, let's just make sure that she VGM spams. Even if those people actually use a VGM, I'm not sure. She's dashing away for sure. We're gonna drop a 2 on her, get a little bit more poke with that. Ooh. Hello sir, can I help you? Thanks, thanks, thanks. There's nothing in that part of the jungle. I'm not sure what you go in there. Be careful, Enemy missing metal. Cupid is safe. He's near the tower. He has a dash. Probably got beats, so it's fine. Yes. Looks like they're pretty even with Chernobog, which is what I like to see. I mean, I would like to see him being ahead, but even is good enough. We gotta poke out a little bit actually a whole bit like it's over a hundred damage oh that didn't connect sure about coming this way i don't think he does get out of here she's so low and she just keeps baiting with this and everybody takes the bait oh she did oh she's so dead Merc's, uh, old coming in there it is are we gonna catch it? Let's kill the Mercury here. We cannot do anything to help Daji. I will smack you! Damn it. He recognized the fact that I deal too much damage and have way too much lifesteal for him to deal with. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that he would go and box me. Like, you know, I play Mercury a lot. You tend to box people at all stages as Mercury. Like, nobody backs his Mercury back. But actually, at this point, I can smack this man like no problem whatsoever. I need a back for full boots like right now. Not even afraid to show that I'm back in a couple seconds. That I'm kind of oh, let's let's uh, tell Capri not to go there. He really cannot steal. The only thing that he will do is die. So uh, looks like Arthur is BMing. I'm not gonna mute him just yet, but he does that a couple more times. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I opted for uh, power boots, even though I am a firm believer that they're a worse option. I have a lot of power in my auto attacks, and just straight up more power is gonna help me with that. I wish all of these attacks connected, but apparently I taught the man to position himself better than he was doing before. Oh, that's not a good idea. I think I can still battle them. Let's go, man. Let's see. Nope. He just straight up runs away. 
I'm in a bad spot right now. I need to back away. Juke the ults. Good stuff. Chernobog is coming. Let's kill somebody. I, I, I cannot run. Ah, oh, fuck me. Look at this Chernobog. Oh my god, I didn't I'm recognize that he was escaping. He got probably ulted by Cupid or some shit. Damn, son. If only I knew. Like I always keep saying, in uh, Season 7, it's really hard for a jungler to farm. Uh, if you don't have pressure, your farm is inconsistent, and mid laner has way easier time farming up because of the co what the hell are you doing? Because of the constant influx of the XP. So if we trade with a jungler, it's not worth it for him. It's better for me. Let's stack him up nicely. Drop our two and tap. Decent clear. Um, definitely not the best, but. Sustainable enough. Uh, Silla coming back. Let's smack her. Ooh, that's almost 400 damage right there. Girl, you're gonna get smacked. Okay, I got crits and everything. Oh, shit. I think I'm dead here. Am I dead though? Can I kill her? Ooh, the sweep. Come on. This man crit me four, three times in a row. What's up? With 5% crit. We are a little bit ahead of Scylla, uh, she just hit level 12, we are already halfway there. He did connect, but she beats immediately, which is the way to go with the Daji, so it's fine. But we got the beats, she won't be able to do a whole lot now, so we'll just smack her, got some poke. Ooh, Guan is coming, we need to spread out. I still have beats, so I'm no immediate danger, that's his dash. Let's back away here. I think I wasted my just there. He wasn't really chasing, he was just more like pushing me out. But you never know. Let's try and hit that. She goes right behind okay. the wall, so it did don't really. Unfortunate stuff. She's looking for Poe, but she might actually die for this. An enemy has been slain. Phew! I managed to kill her before she actually hit that, so Daji would have probably died. Oh hello Merc. You wanna box me again? Come on, bitch. I'm gonna smack you so hard. Oh, never mind. She got her beats. We're gonna push her away. That probably will allow me to escape. Yep. They backed away. On my way. Retreat middle lane. Let's make sure that Chernobox is not coming. No, he was just back into the lane. He's full HP mana and the dual lane is fine. Let's heal up a bit. R3 is actually healing uh, with a certain amount of scaling. And when I get to high power or late build, I'm going to be basically a hell. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Guys, second relic. Come on. Like, where's the second relic? So the reason we play old one right here is that, in my opinion, he's the best ADC mage right now. He right deals back. a lot of damage consistently. His objective... Wow, that was a smack. His objective clear is quite insane. Probably the best in the game. Because we have crit. We have our ultimate that works uh, with the capped out attack speed. Oh, I wish he hit that crab. That would have been lit. So we can smack. Like in late game... If I get an ultimate on you and use my three, you by the time you hit the ground, you're dead. Let's see, uh, we should kill a Chernobog here pretty easily. Literally a bot. We might be looking at the gold fury here. Oh, hello. Damn. Let's smack her. You see, she goes up in the air and she's mostly dead by the time she hits the ground already. And we're not even there. Like, it's gonna get way more uglier than that. Let's see, Mercury is definitely coming this way. Let's position ourselves to not allow him ult both gold and us. Good clear. And he got the heart from the Cupid. That's totally awesome. Your team has destroyed a left enemy tower. Hello, Chernobog. He probably goes to the solo lane. Arthur should be dead. Actually, it's not as easy to catch up with Archer. Let's grab the tower. 
Look at that damage. Oh my god, it's smacking. We have double lifesteal with the crit, so we're like a proper ADC right now. I think okay, Arthur would have been okay if he just cold. ran, but Daji appeared and now they're both dead. Okay. Okay. Not a big deal. We already dropped our tower in mid, so it's fine. Oh, good jukes, man. I mean, not like it's hard to juke this stuff, but still, at least he's learning. Is this even up? It's fine. We're gonna grab it. We're soon gonna have some penetration and even more attack speed. And are we gonna smack when we do? Hello. I saw you there. Ooh. She might get jumped. No, there's Mercury there. Oh, I didn't reach with my three. That's unfortunate. Let's pop our Aegis here. Am I dead? Oh, okay, I'm I dead. Oh, righty then. Mercury's there, we have to run back. Juke, Juke. Never mind. Uh, I did not you recognize that Mercury was actually running away. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this speed. Uh, Daji is 10 seconds away. She will be able to pick it up. I just want to maintain the control and the XP from our jungle. The more it just stands there, the more experience in gold we lose comparing to the enemy team. And that's a pretty even game, so these things matter. Looks like Cupid and Arthur are feeling themselves, but they can't get jumped by five people and that's not going to help them. Oh, hello! How you doing? Is she dead? Ah, oh, it still popped. She didn't get out. Oh, I'm in trouble here. Let's smack somebody. I'm an all around bitch. You get smacked, and you get smacked. Everybody gets smacked. That guy is literally Sit down, son. Come here. Poggers. What you doing? That's all of them. Oh my god, I survived. God damn, they don't have anti-heal. I'm just life stealing like mad. I loved it. Should I get Typhon's thing? If I get Typhon's thing, that's gonna just be a breeze. The amount of life steal I put out. Holy shit. Look at that healing. Look at that healing. I'm a hell now. Look at me. I'm a support. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this push. It's just insane. The tower melts and let's grab the right tower and go for fire, I think. Just like a drive-by tower. Just dropping all of their jungle, leaving nothing behind. Should go for fire here. Looks like my team is not gonna follow. Let's force them. I still believe it's a good call. Mercury's gonna ult that, and this is when he's gonna die. I was hoping that Merc would ult that and just kill himself. He was a lot more resilient than I ex expected of him. So far, he's been really carefree with his ultimates. On my way. Let's see, are they doing it? Nah, it's fine. They're in mid. I'm gonna drop the fire here. I'm gonna ult it at the end, so whoever comes in is gonna be in deep trouble. But we have a ward coverage. Quite insane ward coverage, honestly, so... Not even a chance of anyone coming in. Even the Mercury ult range was covered. Still is out of position. Looks like she's backing away, so it's fine. Let's kill the Ani wave. So we not lose any towers to minions. That will be unfortunate. I wonder actually, would those push out the fire minions? Which wave would be uh, stronger actually? The fire or the Ani? Looks like we're losing left tower to minions. It's fine. Like, drop in the comments, guys. If, have you ever had a situation with the fire minions against Oni Wave? I think that, well, 
judging by the sense of it, the Oni wave should be stronger, right? It's like a one-time deal. And fire minions should be a little bit stronger than the regular wave. I don't remember the exact stats. Really curious now, gonna test it out probably. Gonna focus on the oh hello. An enemy has been yeah, I got a couple crits on her. I kind of wanted to say that I'm gonna focus on the Phoenix with my ult because the push in it is just so insane. But it looks like the enemy team I'm gonna all immune the stun right here. Key is dead. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Mercury, come here in here. You wanna ult me? Go on. This should be game. We can get the Titan over here. Still has no ult. Mercury is looking for an ult on me, I assume. He should go for me. Yeah, there he is. But we have Aegis, so sorry man, you're done. Let's go, baby. Ooh, the sweet mother of crit. 8-3, 16 kill participation out of 28. Looking pretty like that. Ooh, Cupid is actually top damage. That's funny. So in terms of damage, we're 16k, we're actually out damaging Scylla by almost twice the amount. Uh, our junglers are pretty much the same, our supports are pretty much the same, our ADC is 5k on top of the enemy, and our solo laners are, oh, yeah, our Arthur is actually uh, 6k over. So in terms of this, we are actually winning this game quite heavily with Cupid and a little bit of input from Arthur. Everything else is pretty much the same. So yeah, heavily on my and Cupid's shoulders and with a little bit of help from Arthur. In terms of builds, uh, it's a heavy lifesteal, lots of auto attacks, uh, not looking for CDR at all. Uh, going into Hunter's Blessing, dishing out quite uh, insane numbers with my auto attacks and lifesteal allows me to battle through situations like you've seen before I'm probably gonna include this situation in the intro I think <laughs> and yeah all the run best ADC mage very good mid very good in ADC uh, somewhat decent in solo lane for certain situations and just overall very good design god in my opinion pretty balanced pretty good pretty entertaining to play pick him up it's really fun and if you guys enjoyed the video and want more content like this please subscribe if you like the video like the video and if you want to ask me a question leave a comment i am replying to every single comment in my channel so far i like you guys a lot as always have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video.